Finally, after a few weeks of work, the free SAS boilerplate is ready to use. Here it is. I call it Quick SAS because it helps you to create and deploy your SaaS in a few days or even hours, really easy and fast. In this video, I wanna show you how you can use this free boilerplate to build your very first SaaS. I guarantee, if you follow the instructions in this video, you will have your very first SaaS in a few days, accessible by the public so that everybody can start using that. How does it sound? Keep watching the video. If you watch my previous video, you know I promised to come back with a free SaaS boilerplate to make it easy for everyone to launch their very first SaaS as simple as possible. But before jumping into that, let me tell you that over the past few weeks, I wasn't just working on this quick SaaS boilerplate. I was also creating a simple mini course to show you how to use my free boilerplate to launch your SaaS. The good thing about this mini course is that it's under two hours, but it covers everything, including finding the right idea, turning the idea into a real SaaS application using the boilerplate and getting a domain name and deploying the SaaS to the real world. So if you're a beginner and feel that the instructions in this video that I'm going to tell you is not enough to build your very first SaaS using this boilerplate, I highly suggest that you take a look at the course in the description. As I mentioned, the quick SaaS boilerplate is absolutely free. And if you know a little bit about JavaScript and Next.js as well as GitHub and Versal, you can use it even without this mini course. Okay, let's dive in and see how we can use this quick SaaS boilerplate. First, you need to either fork the repository into your GitHub account or simply you can just clone it locally. I highly recommend that before cloning into your local, first it's better to clone it into your GitHub account because later when we want to deploy our SaaS into real world using Vercel and we will want to push the changes, we need to have the changes our own GitHub account. After cloning the project, it's time to test them. Make sure you have Node.js and NVM installed on your machine. Then simply run npm install to install all the modules and packages and then run npm run dev in the terminal to run the project. If everything goes well, you'll see a local URL in the terminal. Copy and paste it into your browser. Now you should see the quick set sample project. The default project is a user feedback assessment tool. It takes the user feedback through an input field, processes the feedback using GPT prompts, and finally displays the result in a nice format. That's basically the logic of the quick SAS. By default, it only has an input field to collect data from the user. Later, you can add custom inputs such as file uploads, but for a start, this setup is good enough. You should try to come up with some ideas in this format. For example, one idea is Codemizer.com, which is a code analysis tool. I created this SAS a couple of months ago, and it's actually the project that I teach in my mini course. If you want to know exactly how I did it, you can check the course in the description. After finding the right idea, it's time to modify the prompts to do exactly what you want. Prompts are core of your SaaS. This is essentially the business logic. Using prompts, you can instruct OpenAI language model on how to process the data. Take a look at the sample in the project to see how it works. Finally, it's time to display the result in the nice format. In the result board, which is a React component, you'll have an object containing the response. You can create your own component to present the data in a user-friendly format. Now it's time to commit and push the changes into the repository and deploy the project to Versal. If you would like to learn more about Versal and deploying the project and obtaining a domain name for your SaaS to actually make your SaaS publicly accessible by everybody, I highly suggest that you take a look at the mini course in the description. Okay, that's it for the quick SaaS project. It's really easy to use. Just explore the sample project to understand how it works. I guarantee that if you follow the instructions I told you in this video and the instructions in the project's GitHub page, you can have your SaaS up and running in just a few days or even a few hours. You can support this free quick SaaS project by sharing this video. Thank you and see you. Bye.